Ohayou gozaimasu. Today I want to share with you a story about my time with Mick Jagger, uh, how I came to meet him and uh, how I wound up playing in his band. Uh, a friend of mine who lived just down the street uh, and I played in Don Henley's band together and um, he got a call to audition for Mick Jagger. Unfortunately, he couldn't do it because he had injured his hand. So he called me up and said, hey Frank, do you want to audition for Mick Jagger? And I said, yeah, I think so. I want to audition for Mick Jagger. So um, uh, I found out that they weren't uh, sending it out any material to learn. Um, you're just supposed to show up with your guitar and an amp and do your best. So I showed up to the studio in North Hollywood and Mick Jagger was there. They had two cameras on us. They were recording everything digitally. Um, so he looked at me and he goes, well, first of all, let's play the blues. And so we started playing the blues, but in the middle of it, he goes, oh, it's all fine and good and everything, but you know, I can't hear you. And so goes, do you think you could play a louder amp? So I said, sure, sure. So I took my plug out of the one my amp and stuck it into a Marshall 100, which can definitely be heard and uh, we started playing and so we had a good time playing the blues we played a slow blues and we played a fast blues and then it came time to playing his new song so this was the audition part of it I suppose playing the blues was too but this was the real audition he had a, something like 12 to 14 new songs and we had to just hear the song on the monitors and learn it on the spot come up with a part just try to stay relaxed um, and be improvisational, kind of flow into the music, kind of close my eyes, uh, sprinkle a little Keith Richards on me so I could move uh, freely and with energy and uh, smilingly. And uh, I did my best to just play one song after another. And after we got through one song, he'd play another song. We had to learn that song. And so after we got through about 12 songs, unbelievably, everything was being recorded, everything was being taped. So he goes, uh, he goes, uh, what's your name again? And I said, oh, it's Frank. And he goes, and who have you played with, Frank? Frank, like that. And, uh, and I said, um, well, I played with Martha Davis. And he, and he goes, oh, Martha Davis, because one of my favorite singers. And uh, I goes, well, me too. I go, she's great. And he goes, yeah, I think she's great, he says. And then I told him I played with Don Henley and with the Eagles. And he goes, oh, yes, the Eagles. He goes, so what's going on with them? And uh, oh, that's all right, I won't ask. And then he kind of walked away, and then he came back and goes, oh, so what's happening? Like that. <laughs> anyway, so I went home thinking, I'll never get a call from him again. That night, I get a call from his secretary. My wife answered the phone, and she said, it's mixed people. It's mixed secretary. So I got on the phone, and she goes, yes, yes. yes. She goes, well, Mick's very, uh, Mick would like you to come tomorrow. If you're available, Mick would like to, you to come and help him audition bass players and drummers. And I said, and he goes, he just wanted to know if you're available tomorrow. And um, I said, well, I have a gig, but um, I'm willing to cancel it for Mick, of course. And she goes, and I heard a little mumble. She's relaying this to Mick. And, and she goes, well, wait a minute. Mick wants to talk to you. So Mick gets in and goes, Frank! He goes, so you have a gig tomorrow? And I said, yeah, I have a gig tomorrow, but I'm willing to cancel it for you. Don't worry, Mick. And he goes, no, no, no. He goes, what time's your gig and where is it? And I said, well, it's in Corona and uh, it's at 10 o'clock. And he goes, he goes, how about I'll provide cartage and trucking for you? And that way you could stay with me longer to help audition bass players and drummers. And I said, well, that's really kind of you. In my mind, I'm thinking, oh my God, this guy is so civil and respectful. Um, he didn't ask me to cancel, you know, my show for for him, and I was amazed. Um, so I was just knocked out by that, you know, um, as you can imagine. And so I went down the next day and helped him audition drummers and bass players, and he kept asking my opinion. He really engaged me. He was always smiling. He was always positive. He always uh, gave off just the best vibe so that when I played with him, it always felt comfortable, and I would put out my best energy because he was so engaging, so happy, so positive, so optimistic. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments about what you'd like to see on my channel, please send them in. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to log on to my other social media, it's listed below. Ciao, mata.